Welcome back, my amazing artists, for your next virtual art lesson. Today is lesson number 22 and 23, okay? We're sticking them together because they're both from the same movie. Today, I'm going to teach you how to draw Vanellope von Schweetz for the letter V. All you're going to need is something to write with and something to write on. So, let's say our artist motto so we can start. going to start with a paper, pencil, and pen. Draw a large circle in the middle of your paper. Vanilla V has a pretty large head. You can start to gently point the bottom of that circle and shape the sides of the face. Remember to draw your vertical and horizontal guidelines to help you place her facial features. Next, go ahead and block out her body. I don't have room for much, but I can do her middle, her torso, and I'm going to have her two arms go down inside her hoodie. Right in the center of her face, where those two lines meet, draw a very small circle for her nose. The bottom of her eyes are going to sit on the horizontal line. Do you see how they're like the shape of an almond or a teardrop? They're very round on the top and the outside, but they are pointy in the corners. Now you can draw her iris, the colored part of her eye. She is looking upward. Put a shine or highlight in the eye and then draw two smaller circles for the pupils. I like to shade these in in case I can't color my drawing. I can at least have shading. Darken the top of her eye to make her eyelash line and give her some feathery eyelashes right at the corners there. They are very curved and swoop out. Next, we're going to draw her eyebrows. I always start on the right side. I guess that's what I'm comfortable with. Her eyebrows are pointed and kind of thick. Not as big as our onward characters, but definitely not skinny. Underneath her nose, you are going to draw her mouth. Draw it smaller on one side and longer on the left so it looks like she is smirky. Then carefully draw the bottom curve of her mouth and add her teeth. She has these really cute large front teeth that you can kind of show with a gentle curve in the bottom. See how I'm shading? around to just give that idea of her teeth. I love her little mouth. It's so cute. Next, we are going to add a couple laugh lines underneath her eye because she's always giggling. And then you can make the side of her face a sort of in and out curve. The other is just a solid curve. She has pretty big ears on both sides of her head, and her bangs are kind of split in half, her fringe, okay? So you're going to draw a almost jelly bean shape with a long tail on one side of her face. The other almost covers that left eyebrow, and goes all the way down along the side of her face. It covers it up. And I just really think it looks almost like a jelly bean. <laughs> so you want to draw the back of her head or top of her head as another curve that goes behind her ear. 
And then you can add her ponytail holder, which is a licorice candy. So it's almost like drawing a bow. And then you can give her a ponytail as wavy or straight as you want. I think the wave makes it look like it has a little more movement. You can draw lines in her hair to show that it's pulled back and it's waving around. I started to shade in her hair, but then when I looked at my reference picture, I realized she has candy in her hair. So I kind of stopped shading and started to draw round candies, make some that are bigger, some that are smaller. She has candy in her hair, almost like you would put barrettes or hair clips. I shaded a little bit more, and then you're going to start on her hoodie. Make sure her hoodie goes over her shoulders in kind of a hump on both sides, and draw the strings. Next, you're going to shape her arms. They are pointed at the elbows, right? Because they're bended arms. Bent arms, excuse me. And um, they're going inside the front pocket of her hoodie. So you can't see her hands. Make sure there's a curve uh, in the middle of that pocket to just kind of show that something's in there. It makes it look like fabric instead of just flat space. Now you can see I am taking a black marker to outline my drawing. You can certainly leave it in pencil and shade in all of her hair. You could shade in her hoodie with pencil if you want. You don't have to color your drawing. You can just leave it as a sketch. But I am outlining and coloring mine. Whether you're going to color it or not, it's a good idea to make sure her hair has texture. And don't forget to outline or emphasize those candies. Now I am coloring her in. Her eyes I use marker for, and I always put a little bit of yellow over the top of the brown just to make them look more alive. You can add some blush to her cheeks and a little color to her bottom lip, and then I'm going over that with a skin tone. I'm also going to put a slightly different tan over the top just to really make a skin tone instead of her just being pink. Her hoodie is mint and her hair is black, but you could obviously color yours however you want. Maybe she's got some kind of special outfit on. Don't forget about those candies. I put more in her ponytail because she really does have a lot in there. <laughs> when you're done with your hair, that's it. You have Vanellope. All right, I can't wait to see your Vanellope and your Ralph drawings. Remember to share them with me in our Canvas course in a message, a discussion, or send them to me in an email. Don't forget you have a quiz this week as well, so please do that acknowledgement quiz so you get credit for your 40 minutes of art. I hope you have a great day, night, whatever the case may be. Remember, I'm Miss Kirk, you are you, and you are an amazing artist.